Welcome back to Math with Jaja. In the last example, we used simple figures like boxes to help us represent numbers, the knowns and the unknowns. And we also learned how to draw relationships between these numbers. Understanding relationships is so important to solve a math problem. That's why today we're going to go over another way to use pictures to show relationships in a math problem. A survey shows that a park has a total of 126 trees. Among them, 87 of the trees are evergreen. 10 of the non-evergreen trees are maple. And 12 of the evergreen trees are spruce. How many trees in the park are neither maple nor spruce? This is a confusing problem. So drawing pictures will help us understand what this problem is saying. Drawing boxes can be very useful for representing all the numbers given. So we can draw a box to show all of the trees. So since there are 126 trees in the park, we can write 126 in this box. Now we can draw another box to represent the evergreen trees. There are 87 evergreen trees, so let's write 87 in this box. Now we can draw another box to help us represent the 10 maple trees. And we can draw another box to represent the 12 spruce trees. Now, can this picture help us find the number of trees that are neither maple or spruce? Not really, because this doesn't show the relationships between the different trees. So how do we show that the evergreen, the spruces, the maples are all trees inside the park? And how do we show that the spruce trees are a part of the evergreens and the maple trees aren't? Instead of using boxes, we can use circles to represent the different categories of trees. First, we can draw a large circle to represent all of the trees in the park. Next we can draw a circle representing the evergreens. And since the evergreens are part of the trees in the park, we will draw this circle inside the large circle. So the area inside the circle is the evergreen trees. The area outside the small circle are the trees that are not evergreen. So now where do we put the spruce circle and the maple circle? Well, since we know that spruce is a part of the evergreens, we can put that circle into the evergreen circle. And we know that maple is not an evergreen tree, so we'll put the maple circle outside the evergreen circle. So this picture not only represents the numbers, what the numbers represent, but it also shows their relationships. Now let's use our picture to answer the question. How many trees in the park are neither maple nor spruce? So this is the area inside the big circle, but outside the maple and spruce circles. So this number represents 126 minus 10 minus 12 which equals 104. So there are 104 trees in the park that are neither maple or spruce. Today, we learned another hard math problem, and we showed that the numbers, what the numbers represent, and the relationships are all so important in solving a math question like this. In this lesson, we use circles to represent groups of objects and their relationships when two or more groups share objects in common. Thanks for watching.